Do you think I should compete? I'm an Olympic medalist boxer, and for the next 30 days, I'm going to be dedicating my life to the art of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Behind me is a popular Jiu Jitsu gym in Los Angeles, California. And how this is going to work today, I'm going to go in there and spar with the seasoned purple belt. Then, after 30 days of training, I'm going to go back in and I'm going to train with that same purple belt again and see how I get on. Crazy, I know, but let's do it. I'm kind of excited and I'm nervous. Like the first time I walked into a boxing gym at the age of 10 years old, I didn't know what to expect. Bruno. Nice to meet you, how are you doing? Nice to meet you, okay? good, yes. Yeah, let's go try? Yeah, I'm excited. Let's do it. it. This is Professor Bruno Valdovino, a first degree black belt and the owner and head coach of the ZR team, Woodland Hills. Bruno has won all sorts, including nine state championships. As well as multiple medals at the Brazilian Nationals and four Seoul American tournaments. He's got the hard task of coaching this 37 year old retired boxer in a completely new combat sport. Before I jump on the mat and spar with this purple belt who's been competing since 2015, but first it's time to get the gi on. I'm not going to lie, putting this on right now kind of makes us feel silly. <laughs> this feels pretty awkward, I'm not going to lie. When a gi, I feel like it's something off like karate kid. I'm getting the belt. But then when Bruno put that belt on, even though it's white, I felt like a bit of a bit of an art case. You're official now. I'm official. Nice. Let's do it. You ready? Let's go. Thank you. Yeah. I'm going to try Jiu Jitsu for 30 days. Uh, what can I expect with this 30 days? Okay, it's going to be hard, but it's fun. There's a lot of basic movements. Uh, Starts with takedowns, about uh, some submissions, okay, and for sure it's sparring. After 30 days, I'm going to decide whether I should compete in Jiu Jitsu or not compete in Jiu Jitsu. Do you think that is enough time to tell whether you've got it or not? It depends on how you want. In 30 days, I'm pretty sure you can go to the first tournament, right? It's white belt, and you wish, and you wait, okay? Nothing too crazy. It's gonna be fun. I love tournaments, I love competing. For sure, you love too. Let's go try. 30 days, everyday training. Let's do it. Great, excited. So I guess now we're gonna work on some basic moves before I spar with the purple belt, right? Yeah, let's do it. Uh, let's go warm up first. After a quick warm up, we jump into some escape drills, learning how to break fall, followed by how to take someone down. Push. Yep, amazing. Now I'm not gonna lie. This feels kind of strange, having another human so close to me, that's not me wife. But you know what, it didn't take me long to get zoned into exactly what we were doing. We've worked on some different techniques for around 30 minutes. You go open sparring, normal sparring. Start to stand up, it's gonna be five minutes rounds. Five minutes? Yeah. It's white belt side. That's right. <laughs> okay, great. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. Good, let's go. Jotto is a two stripe purple belt who has competed in about 30 different tournaments where in each tournament he's fought multiple times. He only weighs 145 pounds, which is 50 pounds lighter than me. Even though he's a purple belt and been doing this for some time, I'm pretty athletic, I'm pretty strong and I don't think it's gonna be as easy for him as you may think because I'm competitive. I'm not just gonna let him submit this, I'm gonna give it me all. Go! But I soon realized the true art of Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. It's not about size, it's not about strength, it's about technique and how to apply them techniques. This guy's throwing me around like a drag doll, but in a way he's not trying to hurt me. Even though I feel like any time he wanted, he could probably snap me in pieces. Stay up top, Tony! 
It just keeps submitting us. I, I cannot believe it. There's nothing I can do. I'm trying everything. I feel absolutely useless. And I now I feel bad for seeing. I think he's going to struggle with me because he definitely didn't. What I've just learned is this is very humbling. Last count. <laughs> well, that's deal one completed. I'm really surprised how the smaller guy just played with me and did whatever he wanted. This is just my first deal, and I really believe after 30 days, I'm going to surprise these guys and I'm going to come back and I'm going to submit this purple belt. Now it's time for my first class, and again, I'm a little bit nervous. Now I'm going to be doing this with other people, getting close to people who I've not met before. Class is brilliant. No one's in there trying to hurt me because I'm a bigger guy than most. Unlike boxing, when a bigger new guy comes to the gym and starts sparring, very often or not, the smaller guys try to hurt the big guy. But here, people were helping us and wanting us to succeed and, and do well, which is great. Day three, I'm going to try this competition class. Now I'm learning and working with purple belt. We drilled some triangles and some different submissions before I sparred with them. And I lost easily every single time. It's making me realize just how much there is to this sport. There's so many different techniques. But one thing that I'm trying to learn is when I do lose, I'm not losing as long as I'm learning, which for someone like me who's very competitive, it's pretty difficult. Day four is time for another class, and it's starting to get a bit frustrating losing all the time. I just feel like I'm miles behind everyone else. Obviously, I've done this for three days, so I'm not going to be great. Now I'm realizing that this is going to take a lot of time and patience if I want to have a successful 30th day with Jota, the purple belt. Day five. Now I've realized that I can't do 30 days in a row, 30 sessions of Jiu Jitsu. My body is in bits. I don't know what I was thinking when I started this video. I think I'm going to do 30 days in a row. I really need time to rest and recover. So I'm switching this video from 30 days of Jiu Jitsu to 30 sessions of Jiu Jitsu. After every couple of sessions, I'll have a day off to rest and recover. The day off really helped me feel better even though my body is still sore in places that I didn't know your body could get sore. I've been advised to tape my fingers, so I ordered this tape from Hamptons. It's got great reviews and I'm going to give it a go. Now the best thing to learn anything these days is YouTube, right? So I'm watching videos of exactly how to tape my fingers. It feels a lot better now I'm using tape on my fingers. Bruno keeps encouraging everyone to come back as much as possible. And I see why, because the only way you're going to get better at this sport is by doing it. I'm starting to get into the swing of things now, but I'm still not managing to get any submissions. But I'm definitely getting better at defending. I feel like there's way more to learn with Jiu Jitsu than there is in boxing. So many different techniques. And I'm continuing to focus on my recovery, and a big way of doing that is by my nutrition as well. My hands are so sore. I'm gonna have to do what I used to do when I was boxing and ice them. Also, my wife's done a full video on her YouTube channel on exactly how to ice your hands. If you want to know the method, you should definitely watch that video after this. Oh, the pain. It's horrible. So I'm in so much pain, but Sue's got a solution. What's the solution? Gin and tonic. And what's the other solution? Pound. <laughs> I'm not having a baby. <laughs> so, bro, how am I doing? How's my progression coming on? It's good. Like a Jiu Jitsu is, I always tell like it's easy, but it's hard because you get sore, you get tired, you get beat up. Some people don't like it, but if you want to get better, you come every single day. This many sessions, I'm starting to pick up little things, which is which is great. But still, there's a long, long, long way to go in this. A long way to go. I can tell you every single day. I learn something new. Even now? Every now. Wow. Every day, new things come 
uh, new positions, uh, new fights, new codes, new uh, techniques, uh, new mindset. Every time I learn, every time I, I need to study, I need like a books, I need like a watch the videos because every day is new thing. If this is going to do this. Right. Is there anything that I do, you've seen with me, that you think is good and anything that I do that is really bad? Your body is good, you know, your top body is good. You have long arms, have long legs, you're skinny. When you get like a close guard, a spider guard, the belly of your guard is going to be good. Right. Okay. But it's up to you. You get your own game, yeah. little by little. Sometimes, okay, I, I feel good and pull guard. Okay, but I think I'm better in fast guard. I think I'm better on top. I think I'm better in take down, put my partner down and play on top. Right. Is there anything that you think I'm very bad at? Your white belt. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> Today I finally got my first submission and it felt great. And the technique I used was called a bone arrow, even though as soon as I did it, Professor Bruno said, you know, my techniques was wrong when I did it. But I still got a submission and I was very happy with that. I feel myself lying in bed at night now thinking about these techniques. I'm kind of getting obsessed with jujitsu. I can't get it out of my mind. I've been training with Jota quite a bit too and I feel like this guy is impossible even to pass his guard and get around the side of him. But on day 30, I've got a plan that I think I'm going to surprise him with. Session 21, I'm feeling very comfortable in there. Starting to learn how to breathe and relax under pressure, under these stressful situations where a few sessions ago I will be panicking and holding my breath and, and getting very tired very fast. I feel like session 21, something's clicked and I'm, I'm getting better. But it's still taking a long time and now I'm being patient. When you do boxing for the first time, it's pretty easy to advance pretty quickly. Like five sessions of boxing, you can look pretty good. Five sessions of jujitsu, ugh. It's tough to look good. Even after 21 sessions of Jiu-Jitsu, it is pretty hard to look good. Jiu-Jitsu takes a lot of time. Even though I've done around 30 hours of training in the 22 sessions that I've done, I know that I'm not even scratching the surface on this sport. And one thing I'm noticing with higher belts than me is it's the tiny little movements that's making the big difference. And because it's a tiny movement, you might think it's easy, but it's not. Moving your hips out, changing the angles, staying tight and not giving people space. All these th things to think about, it's a lot, but it's exciting. Another huge benefit of this, it's a great workout. And when you're working out great, you get in good shape. And I'm really surprised at the way my body is starting to look from doing this training. I've started coming into the gym early to drill techniques before class with other members, really focusing on one or two moves. I wanna get these moves second nature so I can do them without thinking. One thing I'm loving about this as well is the community that's in Bruno's gym. And guys who are way more experienced than me don't mind hanging around after class for 20 minutes to give me some extra training. It's great. One thing that's really helping me is I've been taking on a Troom Tech before my training sessions, which when I do this, I feel a big difference. Joe Rogan has famously said that Troom Tech Sports helps him squeeze in an extra roll at the end of his Jiu Jitsu class. Do one extra roll. I, and at the end of it, where I'm like, wow, I feel like I feel all right. Yeah. It 100% gives you a boost. It's designed to help the body with cellular energy and cardiovascular endurance. And I feel like it really gives me extra gear when I'm in there training. And what honor to do for all my subscribers is giving you a seven day free trial of this shroom tech that is highly recommended by Joe Rogan and me. So if you want seven days of this for free, click the link below and check it out. And also if you want anything else from the Honored website, go to honored.com forward slash boxing and get 10% off. But you should definitely get that free trial. Click the link below and check it out. So today I did something crazy. I did two 90 minute classes back to back. My body's feeling really good and this jujitsu is really starting to come together. I've had a few more submissions now and my fitness is definitely improving a lot. Another class done and dusted and every time I think I'm getting better, I feel like I'm training against someone who's just way better than me, but uh, I'm enjoying it. It's took nearly two months now to get to this point. It's the 30th session. It's my spa with Jota, the purple belt, and I'm ready for this. Professor. How you doing? Good, how are you? Okay, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it. Do it. My goal with this five minute spot is not to get submitted one time and also try and pass his guard and get around the side of him. Here we go. Ready? Go, boys. 
Here it is, it's down to this last five minutes of sparring. I need to make this as hard as possible for him. 10 seconds in, he's already trying to get me into an arm bar. He's pulled me down to the ground. I need to pull my arms out and not let him do that. That's what he's great at doing. Nearly two minutes have passed now and I'm doing well. But he's got his legs around me neck. And now this is a hard position because he's got me arm. So I'm standing up trying to pull him down. Trying to use his weight against him to release his legs. Bruno's telling me, push his legs down. But this guy's strong. I'm struggling to get his legs off us. Now it's over three minutes in the round. I'm doing well, but he's managed to grab me arm. I'm trying to get it out. Oh, I can't. I had to submit. He had me arm. That was frustrating. But we got to keep it going. I can't let him submit us again. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds. Recover your guard. We have a 30 seconds to recover your guard. Let's go. Ah, push up escape. Time. How you feeling, man? Oh, I feel good. You know, uh, so what do you think? I've done 30 sessions. How has the progression been? Today, if you look at your sparring after, you can saw your hands. Now, you start to know where you put your hands. Yeah. You know, and your hip escapes get better. Uh, your defense is getting better. Yeah, I'm very happy with the, the progression. Day one, he submitted me so many times, and then I got submitted one time there. But the thing is, like you said, I realized when I made the mistake, uh -huh. which is the most important it's thing. It's the most right? important thing. So, do you think I should compete? <laughs> I told you, it's, let's do it. <laughs> let's try. You know what I mean? Let's see how you can, how you feel it. You know, yeah. this is more about your mind. It's about your like your jiu-jitsu. The right. first tournament is about your mind, like how you feel it, like, okay, this is good for me. Well, I've done this as a 30-day challenge and thought after 30 days, I'm not doing it again, but I'd like to say thank you to you, Bruno, because you've got me addicted to a great sport and something that's good for me and good for me. Thank okay, so I'm happy to have you here, okay? Let's go to the tournament. Let's do it. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Doing these 30 sessions has been an absolute life changer for me. I absolutely love Jiu Jitsu. I love working with Bruno in ZR Gym in Woodland Hills. I love the community there. And the way I'm feeling right now, I'm going to compete in Jiu Jitsu. Do you think I should? Let me know in the comments below. And when I do, I'm going to be documenting the full thing. So make sure you subscribe to watch that. Now is boxing better than Jiu Jitsu for self-defense? Well, I created this video right here to tell you. So if you want to know what I think is better, Boxing or Jiu Jitsu for self-defense, click here and find out.